Hello, and welcome back to my next exciting episode of Dragon Ball. No, 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 Super Metroid. Episode 2. We are in Brinsta, where we left off last time. And I actually need more missiles. Oh no. Well, let's go. Come up here and kill some enemies. Ah, oh, no! Stop it! Oh no. Someday I'm going to be good at this. Hopefully. Uh. Oh no, give me missiles. I need missiles. Missiles! Fine. Well, I guess I'll go here then. And kill these. No. Come on. Just one more. Yes, thank you. So yes. As you have probably already figured it out, you need missiles to open these doors. Blue doors can be opened by anything. Red doors need five no oh no. Five normal missiles. Green doors. I really suck at this. Green doors require one super missile, yellow doors require uh, super bombs, and that's it. This here is a missile refill, so it will give you all your normal missiles back. It doesn't refill your super missiles, so it's fairly useless because once you get enough super missiles, you are not going to be needing normal missiles anymore, except for opening doors. And if you kill those little flying things, the room gets darker and darker, so don't kill them. You might also have noticed when I tried to bomb here, this is a block that can be only destroyed by a super bomb. So we cannot go there yet. Good run. If you're wondering how you are supposed to tell the difference between breakable, bo uh, breakable blocks and non breakable blocks, then, well, you can't really proceed any further if you don't start exploring and to me at least it's fairly obvious if you find a wall in the middle of nowhere, you just try placing bombs there, see if it breaks down. This is a block that can be destroyed with a speed booster. So when we get a speed booster we can run really fast and break these things. Again, we can't really do anything about it right now. In here you need to go up, there's a boss that you need to fight, but first we are going to go down here. There's a few things I want to pick up. Oh, oh. oh did it on first try. So if you jump and someone starts doing these flips, if you jump and then jump against the wall, then turn away from the wall and jump again, Samus will perform a wall jump. So you can climb up walls. And that allows you to do... oh no, oh no. That allows you to do some things that you would normally not be able to do at this point. There's a lots of things called sequence breakers sequence breaking in this game. What it basically means is that the game is obviously meant to be played in certain order, like you cannot open red doors without missiles, you cannot open green doors without super missiles. But there are some things that you can do uh, in the incorrect order if you know what you're doing. 
and wall jumping is one of those things. Here we get the charge beam, which is the first upgrade to your normal weapon. It allows you to charge your shots, so they deal more damage. One thing to note is that most bosses are immune to your basic shots, so if you just shoot them like this, they don't take any damage. So you need either missiles, or you need to charge your shots. So that is a fairly important upgrade to get. I don't think it amplifies your damage uh, just by... I don't know. I do not think it amplifies your normal shot damage, it just allows you to charge. And if you charge your shot to full, and then you jump and hit an enemy, it destroys them immediately. It one, one shots them, basically. Here's another save room if you want to save, but I'm not going to. Second boss is also pretty easy. It's just a huge plant that you need to shoot lots of missiles into. And I actually think the boss is called Plantera. I might be wrong. I advise you to shoot these things with missiles because they take fairly many shots with your normal gun. Or if you want to charge your shots and then jump into them, that's that's okay too. So that's the boss. It's this huge plant maw thing. And it's gonna be dropping these spores and eventually it will open its big fat mouth and you can shoot missiles in it. If you're really fast you can shoot two or three missiles at once. It doesn't always work out. You need to be fairly close. There I managed to shoot twice. And you can keep oh you can keep shooting these small spores to get refills. You get energy, you get more missiles. Oh, actually runs three shots there. So there really isn't any uh, danger of you not having enough ammunition for this fight. Oh, just two shots. I don't advise using bombs here trying to st destroy these spores because it can easily propel you up and right into the boss, so... Just stay in ball form and roll around and the enemy cannot actually hit you. The boss cannot actually hit you. Occasionally, if you want, try shooting the spores. And there we go. Fairly easily. Fairly easy. But I tend to think that this game is quite easy. Anyway, so... I think the hardness comes from not difficulty comes from not knowing where to go next or perhaps some of the jumping jumping puzzles are annoying but the combat in this game isn't isn't that difficult in my opinion so now we have super missiles super missiles are really really powerful and they can like i said earlier they can open green doors You can actually get these missiles, if you are going to be doing uh, sequence breaking, you can get these missiles fairly early, or earlier, without killing the boss, because... Oh yeah, that means one of these. Because uh, if you watch a speedrun of this game... If you watch a speedrun of this game, they normally skip the Plantera boss altogether. And earlier, when I was going down from the lift, uh, just right from the map, map room, where the green M is, uh, there is... Well, basically you can get more super missiles from there. And speedrunners get those super missiles and then use the 
root that I just used, where you need to shoot the block with the spine missiles, to go basically backwards and get those those super missiles that I got. No? Yeah, not this one. So if you notice there, there's a pipe. That's actually a secret. Oh. With more missiles in it. Which are, again, I, I mean, they are nice, but not very useful. I'm just using them because why not, really? I might as well, because they one-shot these weak enemies. Ah! I'm taking a lot of hits today. One cool thing about these enemies, they give you super missiles. So I advise you to refill here because there isn't a super missile research station. In, it doesn't exist in this game. So if you want your super missiles back, you need to kill enemies. Which is really strange in my opinion. Now we are there. Now we are in the dark and depressing Prince Star. Oh. No, come on. If you are really good, you can go to this uh, direction if you want. You can kill these things with super missiles, and there's four of them. So if you can kill all four of them, and then you can. Well, let's see if I can show it to you. Oh. No, no. Oh, did you see? Right at the top there's two blocks in the middle of the shaft that you can shoot and break and you can go up up the shaft if you are really good right now but I don't advise you to do it just yet that is in the direction you are supposed to go instead you are supposed to go and come down here and, oh well, damn, <laughs> I was going to say that don't break that block, but I did it myself. So, come down here, fall down, if you want, there's an energy refill station behind this door, but I'm not going to be using it. So, one of the cool things of Super Metro is how it teaches the player about its mechanics, like water for instance. If you just come and try to jump here, you notice that you cannot reach it, and when you are in the water you notice that you are moving very slowly, you cannot really jump, and it's really difficult to move in it, as well as pretty much every other mechanic in the game too. It teaches you how to wall jump, it teaches you about uh, speed booster and exploration and other things. So just run and jump so you can reach this place. Oh. These things are really nasty, if you come close to them, they will try to eat you. You cannot kill them with your normal gun, you cannot kill them with normal missiles. You can kill them with super missiles, but I don't advise that, because you are just wasting ammunition. And you are going to be needing it later. Here is a secret. That's not necessary to finish the game, but it's really useful if you go and get it right now. It's the second upgrade to your gun. I think it's called Spacer Beam. It allows you to shoot three beams at once. And I think it, as a result, increases your damage somewhat. Yeah, Spacer Beam. 
And now basically your missiles are useless. You can just shoot these things. Jump, Samus, jump! Oh. Almost got me there. Now we are going to be taking a brief detour to Maridia. Say hello to Maridia, the most depressing and annoying area in the game. And now say goodbye to Maridia. That's like the second last. No. Well, in a sense, it's the second last place. The uh, second last area that you go into. And now we are in a place called No Fair, which is a place that is not fair. Haha. Uh -huh. Don't go there, don't go there. Just yet. Uh, I can actually show you, if you go here, you'll start taking damage, because Norfair is a volcanic area, so it's really hot. You take constant damage if you are there. You're going to need a suit upgrade to protect you from the heat. And actually, I think this is a save room, so if you need to save, you can come here. Yeah, it's a save room. And it's actually here where you need to go to get the high jump boots. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more energy. Uh, picking up an energy tank also refills your energy if you have taken some hits. So now we have the high jump boots, which allows us to jump extra high. Like this. And again, you could have gone and killed, uh, killed Craig before getting this, but it just makes your life easier if you get them right now. If you do things in order, this game is quite easy. And there isn't really going to be anything too hard in it. But if you start going out of order, then things can get somewhat difficult at certain points. Like I said with the shafts, if you try going up it right now, it's going to be really annoying. But once you get the necessary items, then it's not going to be at all difficult. So now we're going to go and kill the third boss of the game. Or, I guess if you go in the correct order, it's the third third uh, boss of the game. And it's right here. You can actually see in the map that there's an area behind this wall, so that's how you know that this is a breakable wall. And you need actually super missiles. You can destroy all these three blocks here. And then you can take a running jump from here to reach that place because uh, you cannot reach it with just your normal jumping ability. This is why we need the high jump boots to get here. All of these frog monsters. Damn frogs! By the way, if you find these kind of doors, uh, brown doors, I think they are called metal doors, uh, that means that they cannot be opened except by a certain condition. Usually it's kill all the monsters in the room, and then it lets you go through it, but this door opens when we uh, kill the boss. God, I missed all of those. Uh, 
I think there is something that you can get later. Not right now, because we need super bombs for it. But just remember that that is something that you can destroy later. If you want, there's a secret room, save room here. And I think this is the last save room before the boss, so I'm going to be saving here as well as ending this episode in this room. In the next episode we are going to be killing a boss. A fairly easy boss, but a boss nonetheless. I'll see you there.